In this video, I'm going to be giving you a really simple tip to be able to handle the best blitz in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. We do videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Now, I wanted to drop a little bit more of an in-depth guide into how I would recommend that you would pick up this nickel 33 LB Blizz Zero or LB Blitz Zero, this double loop concept. This is a really, really, really good blitz. I'm going to first break down the blitz and then I'm going to break down a count to this what makes this so hard to stop is it's not like one thing that you need to do there's like a series of things that you need to do we're gonna be showing you how to stop it today out of the trip side information the trip side information at least in my personal opinion is the best offense in madden 23 because it gives you the ability to use play action blocking which can pick up the majority of pressures if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook the link is down in the description it will update throughout the course of the year so make sure you're a patreon member it's only ten dollars to get all access to all of our ebooks but let's get into the video and talk about this blitz out of lb blizz zero so I'm just going to come out and play doubles in sale, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to contain, I'm going to pinch my linebackers, and then you know I can press my coverage or whatever I want to do. And you're going to see that this is an absolutely insane blitz. It just like, it just completely dumbs out the entire offensive line, to be quite honest. And it's it's the fact that this, what makes this blitz so good in my opinion, is the fact that the loop on the right side um, actually does do a decent job, and the disengages that you get with the uh, the front three rushers okay so as you see right there it's going to come in now what also i want to point out about this blitz is you're only sending five uh so you're only sending five so literally everybody's in man everybody is manned up on this play and if i block my tight end you're going to notice that this blitz still can come in as you see right there and it's really going to do a good job of forcing you to step up into the pocket where they're sh they should put their best pass rusher right there where they could get a quick shed potentially to stop you you're going to see here that if I block my running back to try to pick this pressure up, they're going to loop around the running back. And as you can see, the blitz is going to get picked up. And then lastly, I just want to show you that if I block my running back and I block my tight end, I am going to still struggle to pick up a five man blitz. So I'm max protecting. I still can't block a blitz. It's only sending five people at me. That's a problem. And it's why this is literally, if you go to Twitch, you will see almost every Madden streamer running this defense because it is that powerful. Um, so one last uh, little setup here I'm going to show you from a blocking perspective. I'm actually going to block eight. So I'm going to block my running back, and I'm going to block this uh, wide receiver here to the right side. Now bear with me a little bit uh, because I am on, you know, I am trying to have two fingers here. But a lot of times you're going to see here I'm just going to snap this guy, kind of motion him right there. So he blocks. He does pick up that right side. And as you can see there, we actually are able to pick up the left side pressure. I will say that's not 100% consistent. But that is something that you could try. Now I want to explain why I like trips tight in so much in a simple way that you can kind of pick this up probably about 80% of the time. And that's by using a play action play and then using a slide protection. So I'm going to show you something that I think is interesting about trips tight in. It's been in trips for a while. Um, PA counter go is a play action passing play. Now you'll notice with this that if I just run the play play action or PA counter go, um, a lot of times this will still come in. You'll see here, I just get dumbed out on the right side and he comes in. And again, this is what makes this blitz such a pain to deal with, okay? So what we're gonna do to pick this pressure up is all we're going to do is we're basically going to uh, slide our defensive line to the left side of the screen. So literally, or slide our offensive line to the left side of the screen. So you're gonna see right here, we're just going to slide to the left. And what you'll see is this blitz will get picked up and now we have time to throw the crossing route all the way across the formation. Now, you're going to use four-man route combinations to beat man-to-man. -man. Um, you know, this route combination right here is one of the better ones. And we'll show you, again, how consistent this is. This is the most consistent pass protection that I have found for this. Um, I like to base my entire pass protection system out of play action because of how good these blitzes are. And as you can see there, I'm able to get my routes open and being able to throw my slant or be able to uh, beat man to man. Now, another thing that we can do is you might've noticed how effective it, it was when we motion blocked. What we can do on this right side uh, that I actually do like to do is we'll maybe run a three man. We're still gonna slide our line to the left. Um, but what you're gonna see is we're gonna motion uh, Jones, our triangle receiver to the right side of the screen. And we're just gonna snap him right when he gets about right in here. And you'll see that this blitz gets picked up 
and again, I can throw the ball to my receivers. This is a simple system for picking up pressure out of the uh, trips tied in. Now, again, you can apply cross apply this to your formation of choice. I'm going to show you how um, you can pick this up out of U trips. Uh, I think U trips is one of the best formations that um, you can have in Madden 23 because it's really good for quick passing and it's got great pass protection. So again, we're just going to pinch our linebackers. We're going to do that and then have this guy right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to slide our line um, to opposite of the running back, so slide to the right. And then I like to do something like this right here. And what you'll see is, by and large, this blitz gets picked up. Now, ignore the fact that I threw right at the user because um, I didn't put any other routes on the field. But you see that the fact that matter is we're able to pick up the pressure by sliding away from the running back and then just stepping up in the pocket. So as you see here, really good blitz. But we're able to pick this up and able to at least have time to make a read with a couple of, you know, three, four, or five, uh, or with uh, three-man route combos. Now, let me show you this real quick. The one thing that I don't want to um, miss is if you put this tight end on a route, so let's say we block the running back and we slide protect uh, to the right, and then we put our tight end on a out route, and maybe, you know, on the backside, you know, we put a hitch or whatever, right? This, you'll see right here that this blitz can still come in. Um, so that's just something to kind of keep in mind. That route right there we break down in our trip study and offensive ebook. I think it's a, one of the best routes that nobody's using right now to beat man coverage. The high ball hitch is super good. Um, but anyways, so you need to block when you when you don't have play action. You need to actually, I think, go ahead and at least block seven um, for this, which is unfortunate. But you can actually run some decent. You know, it's man across the board, so you can kind of use that to your advantage and be able to attack it that way. But that being said, guys, that is a simple formula for how to pick up the Nickel Blizz 3 out of the Nickel 335 normal. Again, I'm going to show it to you out of Trips Tied In. I did want to show you one other thing about this, and that is the play PA shot wheel. Before I forget, this is kind of a, an interesting little thing. So if you look at the line of scrimmage, whenever I slide protect my line to the left, you're going to notice that I can't see it. You can't see the lineman move in any way. Okay, if I go to PA shot wheel and I slide my line to the left, you're going to notice that you can see them move to the left. So it just changes how, um, you know, the pass protection works. As you can see right there, it doesn't pick the blitz up. And I think it's partially because of the specific type of pass protection built into PA counter go. So that's part of why PA counter go is such a key play for me. Um, and just something that I've kind of come to understand about picking up pressure in this game, sliding your line um, away from the running back and then having some routes like this are really helpful. And if we can pick up that pressure, you know, we can hit something like that for an easy gain against this defense. Thank you for watching the video. Again, if you want to get my full nickel or uh, my full trip tight end offensive ebook, that is out as of today or uh, as of yesterday, actually. And it is in our Patreon. So you can join the Patreon by clicking the link down in the description below. And for just 10 bucks, you'll get access to our trips tight end offensive ebook, our blitzing guide so far for Madden 23. We have a current gen ebook out for Big Nickel and a next gen ebook out for Big Nickel. And a lot more on the way as well. All the updates for that stuff for you as well. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and, uh, and click the link down below.